During this course, we will be using Drupal training.gudrupal.georgetown.edu in order to demonstrate how to edit and manage your websites. In order to log in, add SAML underscore login to the end of the URL. This will work for any department site so long as you have permission by the admins. It should bring you to a page that asks you to enter your NetID and password. After you've done so, it will bring you to a page that looks like this with your net ID and how long you've been a member for. If the sidebar doesn't appear, click on the wrench in the upper left hand corner. Under the administration tab in the sidebar, you have your workbench, content, structure, configuration, and a help tab. The workbench displays a list of all recently created and edited content, the author of the list, and when it was last updated. It's a good tool to use if you've recently created a new page but have lost track of where it is on the site and need to find it again. The Content tab shows you a list of all your site's pages. You can filter through types of posts to see a list of pages based on selected filters. Or you can search by the title. If you want to change the order of navigation items or hide them, you can do this in the Structure tab. To reorder links, click on Menus, and under the Operations column, click List Links. A list of all pages on your site's navigation will pop up, and you can reorder them by dragging and dropping items. To make an item fall under a different parent item, drag the item below and to the right. In order to undo this, drag it up and to the left. To save all changes, make sure you go to the bottom and hit Save Configuration.